Nuclear Herbs. This is their resident attorney, former attorney of the ecosystem who uh, loves loves real DeFi. Just got off the phone with someone who attended RH Discovery here this morning at their request. Oh, nice. Okay, somebody went. That's what we're trying to get somebody to go and to get us information and stuff. It's a public hearing, so glad somebody, somebody in New York went. Awesome. At their request, I want to mention my name, but I can't possibly thank them enough for incredibly valuable information that I will provide for future reference. Courthouse staff took everyone's devices away except for the lawyers, so nobody could record anything, even if they want. Okay. For background, it's incredibly unusual for anyone besides attorneys and judges to be at Discovery. Was Richard there? Uh, I doubt it. It's rare that the parties themselves are there. Those uh, types of hearings are boring, usually, or it's as boring as if. And most of the ones I've seen or been a part of consist of con attorneys complaining about stuff while the judge tries to make children stop by. The average citizen takes zero interest in them. I'm sure seeing even one person watching the hearing was a surprise to everyone there, but I'm very grateful for the information. There was some conversation conversation about Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and whether or not they will be represented. The SEC seemed to acknowledge that those are not actual entities and simply code. I was, I'm not sure how that issue would get resolved, but I assume we'll learn more as this case moves along. I'm not sure what it would, what good it would do to have an attorney represent code since there's no method of effectively communicating or advising a client that doesn't actually exist. It's also hard to get non-existent clients to sign retainer agreements that are required by state bar or to pay bills. So this idea creates a whole host of real world problems. Not unexpectedly, the SEC is looking for discovery on pretty much every issue right now and wants basically unfettered access to information about RH, its communications, its devs, influence in the community, etc. The judge apparently wasn't willing to entertain those types of blanket requests, which is the right call. Discovery is not a fishing expedition. Um, and overbroad requests routinely get narrowed or denied altogether. I expect that to be the case uh, based on what I've heard. She ordered the parties to discuss and come up with a more limited targeted discovery plan and set a hearing for May 2nd, which the court indicated may be telephonic. Oh, nice. So maybe it all listen in. It sounds like the court thought the SEC's requests were too broad and also noted that, night, that 19 months or so have passed since SD served a subpoena. Not following up or trying to enforce something you served 19 months earlier doesn't scream urgency. And from what I understood from my source, that's how the court saw it as well. Nice. In a pretty cool move, my source also stopped and chatted with RH's attorneys after the hearing and said that RH's lawyers were supremely confident in RH's position, not just with respect to this hearing, but with respect to their ability to prevail against SEC. That's pretty, that's a pretty, actually a pretty remarkable thing for attorneys to just tell someone outright unless they were talking to a journalist or some other media figure and they want to get that message out to the people. Maybe that was the case here. Who knows? But it's certainly nice to hear that, that directly from RH's team. My source also said that RH's lawyers told them that it would be great to have more people show up to support RH during upcoming hearings. So remember this for the October 26th oral argument, which will be the biggest event in the case so far. If you're anywhere near New York City and can help make it, it looks like RH's attorneys think a packed courtroom might help send the message. Again, thanks for bringing the info. All right, you heard it. Be in New York to support uh, Richard in the case on October 24th. That is the message. Wow. That's the message I got here. All right, man. That's cool. I might I might have to make myself a trip to New York there too to in support of this stuff. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe a conference will be organized uh, around that. What is, what is October 20th? Let's see, October 24th, 24th, 24th day. It's a Thursday. Maybe there will be a conference organized around that day. Maybe somebody will go do an event in New York around that day to make sure everyone has a reason to be there and uh, can, can chat and all that stuff. So, yeah, Maddie, um, Everyone else who organizes events and conferences and Pulse Chain Tour, Pulse Chain Tour, uh, you know, October 24th, you know, we're doing a, um, we're doing a freedom conference, October 24th in New York. All right. I like it. I like it. Wow. Wouldn't that be a great time to get the community together to really celebrate something that we're all here to make sure it gets accomplished and, and show support. Wow. I think they have a lot of reasons to be there. Amazing. I mean, class trip to New York, 1024. Yes, I like it. Yes. All right. Well, that's cool. That, that I think that made my day. 
I think, uh, yeah, I think I certainly did. That is, that's amazing. And again, shout out to nuclear herbs doing some amazing work here. Like again, without, where would we be? We wouldn't know about any of this stuff. Like, like we wouldn't have all the sense. I, all these ideals wouldn't come from all this stuff without having people go out of their way to be like, Hey, this stuff isn't fair. We're going to like, if you want to fight for something, fight for freedom, fight for your bags, fight for your own self-interest, fight for, you know, your, your friends and family and just people you care about and fight for the country having, you know, not, not being taken away opportunities by your own effort and your own work, fight for being self-made, fight for all these values that you feel like are being taken away. Like you can do that in a peaceful, nonviolent, irrational, come up with the facts. If somebody wants to take something away from you and they're not, and, and it doesn't make any sense, ask them why, and then show them, show them why it should be taken away because you care about it. Right. If you care about it, you know, get involved and, and do that if, in a rational, good, you know, be a force for good in the world. Like this is, this is, you know, right up, right up the alley. So I'm very excited.